this is my high voltage static generator I showed you guys uh, this unit I got it from Amazon and if you go to Amazon and you can put in the word S O S O O high voltage uh, transformer it'll come up on uh, Amazon and it's $8.95 if you have Prime that'll be two day free shipping and so once you uh, once you get your power supply hooked up as you can see I have a black wire this is my ground and it's just soldered to this metal plate and then I have another plate over here and then I have it hooked up to the positive the red wire now I used uh, three quarter inch pieces of wood it's about two centimeters and so that I can slide these petri dishes in the petri dishes have different seeds in there starting with onion, hatch green, chili, sweet corn, uh, cherry tomatoes, uh, bell pepper, and beefsteak tomatoes. And the water I used has a little bit of hydrogen peroxide in it. it they say it helps the seeds to germinate a little better. So I have a control batch of the same seeds from the same package. Those will be set aside and I'll let them grow naturally. And then we'll have these with a high voltage generator to see well, what happens, see, see if we can see a change. And so it's very simple to do this, you, but it's really important that you get the polarities correct. And so I used a very weak AAA battery because the AAA battery um, is one and a half volt. And this transformer will go up as high as 400,000 volts, 400 kilovolts. And so if you're testing for your polarities, you don't want to burn out your transformer so I would or your, your multimeter. So I would recommend you using a very weak AAA battery and then test it for the polarities and make sure which is the positive and the negative. And I used a transformer and it is 6 volts. As you can see there it's a six volt transformer and then I also had to determine which was the positive and negative on that so I can hook it up to the transformer now you can get one of these little fly swatters from Harbor Freight or $3.99 maybe $4.99 but you can get these little uh, fly swatters and they're basically a static electric generator as well for killing flies they don't recommend you take it apart and use it for anything else, but you could start with this because it'll run off two uh, D batteries. And uh, you can separate the plates, get you some plastic, and do the same thing. Just remember you have to get your polarities correct. Once you understand that part, then you can do this little science project for school. Kids can do this. It's very simple. Where the 400,000 volt one can really, really hurt you. You got to be careful with that. But if you set it up correctly and put it in a safe place where you're not going to have access to anyone touching it, you should be okay. Whereas the fly swatter, I think they're between 40 and 60, uh, 40 to 60,000 volts. It'll hurt you. It'll, it'll give you a nice little bite, but it's not going to kill you. So that's a good cheap way to get started with just that fly swatter for, you know, four or five dollars. I ordered these Petri dishes online. You get 20 of them for, I think, $11. And, but you know, you can build one of these and put it together yourself. And it's going to take a few weeks for the seeds to all get sprouted. And then I'm going to plant them out. And then I'll do another li little video as a follow up to see what kind of changes as these plants grow and see if we can duplicate that Ebner effect. And if you haven't, uh, checked out what the Ebner effect is you can go on Google or YouTube and watch videos they are in German some of them so but there are some guys on there like Synergy 7 he explained a little bit about the Ebner effect on one of his videos so there are some English videos you can watch to learn about the Ebner effect and I'll tell you corn normally grows one or two to three ears per stalk and they're getting up as high as 12 ears per stock if they put them in this high field static generator. 
and they've done this with also trout. Uh, they had scientists come in and checked out what kind of trout it was because it ended up being three times bigger than the parent. And so when they brought in the scientist, they had, uh, had told him that that trout, specific, uh, uh, that specific kind of trout, had been extinct for 130 years. So those are some of the things that you're going to learn on um, on the videos if you go on YouTube, and uh, and then of course Google. You can read a little bit more. There's a little bit more on Google than there is on YouTube. But this is my high voltage Ebner Effect static generator. And we'll see how the plants turn out. Thanks for watching.